We are fortunate that Wellington, specifically the Equestrian Overlay Zoning District, is not a high density area. Let's make the most of this difficult time by continuing to ride and train and keep our horses and riders healthy, fit, and ready to resume competition when the appropriate time arrives. Make social distancing mandatory at the barn, no exceptions. Do not permit individuals to congregate in the tack room or aisleways. While in the saddle, please keep a safe distance away from fellow riders. Many facilities are limiting the number of people allowed at the barn or in the riding ring at any one time. Establishing scheduled riding times may help streamline this process. In addition, riders should severely limit the number of guests that they bring onto the property. Be vigilant of cleaning and sanitizing protocols by including surfaces and often overlooked objects such as whiteboard markers, doorknobs, stall latches, grooming brush handles, and cross ties. Be mindful of disinfecting reins, saddles, and stirrups, and washing brushes, polos, wraps, and saddle pads. Barn staff should implement a routine of wiping down barn cleaning tools such as pitchforks and wheelbarrows. Make sanitizers, alcohol spray bottles, or disinfecting wipes available throughout the barn. Washing your hands is one of the most effective ways to prevent the spread of coronavirus. So wash your hands upon arrival at the barn, before leaving, and insist that your staff wash their hands between handling different horses. Make suitable arrangements for reliable backup care in the event that you or your horse's caretakers become sick. Organize detailed written instructions on feeding, medications, and general care of your horse and provide these written instructions to your barn manager. Meet with your staff and grooms regularly to make sure everyone is being consistent in safety and cleaning protocols and has the most up-to-date information. Have them self-monitor for any signs of fever, coughing, or sickness. If anyone experiences signs of COVID-19, they must contact their doctor and remain in their homes to prevent further spread of the virus. Work with your staff to ensure they are taken care of and compensated if possible during sick time. Remember that our horses still need daily attentive care. We must adjust to help flatten the curve while remaining dedicated to the health, training, and care of our horses.